morning. Caroline McQueen here, expert in children and the early years in particular. That's right, I am in fact an early years practitioner, or as we are sometimes known, an EYB. Now I'm highly qualified of my HNC, I can my ABCs, can all be ADHD, at times it's all a wee bit OMG, and uh, I'm hoping a wee OBE might be in the bag at some point in the future, because I can an awful lot about the bairns. So, the day we're going to be talking a wee bit about behaviour, and about behaviour management. Now, in these times of lockdown, it's noisy, and we're no saying it is. You're stuck in the house with all the bairns about you, it's tough. We should can, because we're the numpties what usually look after them. So, let's get started. Get yourselves a wah, get a wee cup of tea, get the bairns right out the road, down in the garden shed, down the bottom of the garden if needs be, and uh, let's get stuck right in. So, if you got your cups of tea, or if, like me, you are an EYP, I suggest a wee g and And on that subject, I'll talk a wee bit more about coping strategies later on. So, behaviour. Now, there is good behaviour. You'll know see a lot of that. And uh, there's bad behaviour. And... I suggest a few more of these to be coping with that. So, as I've said to you many a time before, if there is anything specific that you would like to ask me, Caroline McQueen, about the Bairns, please do send your letters and questions through, because I am an expert. Oh, and there's a few wee letters that have come through already, and, oh, would you look at that? Morag McSweeney, you've sent a wee photograph of your bairn through. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, bless me, darling. He'd like a squashed cabbage. So, I've a few hangs in my behaviour toolbox that I can share with you the day. Not to be underestimated, as is... Under specifics of how to use these tools, I'll get on to in a wee bit. Now, a very important element in behaviour management, not to be underestimated, is the use of praise. Now, we're going to underestimate the impact self-esteem has. And today, I'm going to share with you a few wee pointers from my practice in particular. So, as I say, praise, a brilliant way to boost self-esteem. And I'll give you a wee example of positive reinforcement from my personal practice. So, when I arrive at the nursery on a morning, I'll say to the bairns, now who's Mrs McQueen looking this morning? And I've got Bully and I've got a few of the others to say back to me, now it takes a wee bit training, well... Mrs McQueen, you are looking bro the day. As I say, brilliant. That use of praise really lifting the self-esteem. Now, another thing I'd like to touch on just briefly is the use of time out. Now, again, time out can be a wee bit controversial. But uh, in order to use time out, correctly and in order for it to be effective you have to use it right. So when I'm talking about time out I'm not talking about putting the bairn in the next room. I'm not talking about the bottom step. I'm talking time out like way out, preferably in the next locality. Anywho I just like to say a great big thank you for the bottom of my heart for taking time out your busy schedules this morning and spending it with an expert such as myself. I hope to God you've learned something useful and good luck with the bairns in the house. Thank God it's no me. Cheers!